you know, ask questions during, oh, and here we are. All right. Hello, everyone on Facebook. Um, good morning and welcome to our West Valley Village this morning. We are so delighted to have such a treat this morning. Keely Bruner, who has been speaking for our Central Village for um, the past year, actually, doing Moon Muse gatherings, has agreed to speak for us today, and I'm so delighted to have her. So she's talking about finding and nurturing the creative impulse. Um, and Keely is a mother of three and a budding postpartum doula. She loves creating and expressing herself through writing music and needlework and is an avid reader of just about anything. Um, and we're so happy to have her here to talk about her, her creative um, inspiration, I guess, for both <laughs> herself and us. Um, and, and it's been really just such a joy to have you, Keely, and have you talk to us about how we can find creativity in our daily lives rather than feeling like we need to be a perfect artist or um, a professional singer or whatever it is that we thought creativity was before motherhood. So right. thank you so much for being here today and for letting us, you know, continue to explore this in our own lives. Thank you, Jenny. I really have enjoyed this a lot. And I feel like um, we haven't had a whole lot of repeat attenders, I think, just because it's uh, it's hard to kind of make a weekly or a monthly meeting even. But <clears throat> I also think that the people who have shown up have needed it at that moment, you know, and I think that um, it, it's something that's applicable at different stages of the parenting journey. So, um, yeah, it's it's good. It's important. It doesn't always feel like um, it, it feels like a luxury, you know, to have time to create. But really, um, I think the more that you do it, the more essential you find it to be. So uh, with that, are we ready to begin then? I'll go ahead and Share and start my slideshow. Let's see. Oh, that's not what I'm doing. Hold on. Oh, I know. <laughs> Sorry about this. I'm getting it. Is this it? You're doing great. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm getting it. Okay. Oh, there we are. Let's see. Is that it? Yep. yep. And then it's I'm going to get myself smaller and I'm going to put the slideshow. Perfect. Yay. Yep. <laughs> I have to remember every time how to do this. I know, me too. <laughs> okay. So for anybody who's attended before, we were just talking about how this is kind of the opening theme song. It's about a five to eight minute kind of um, introduction to the series. Uh, just because, like we said, there's different people each time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and scoot along. All right. Do you ever feel overwhelmed when you receive a new idea for a creative project? If you get like a, if you see an image or something occurs to you, you're like, I should write a poem about that, or that would be great as a short story, <laughs> you know? Um, do you feel jealous of creative people on your newsfeed? Sometimes you have folks, they're like, oh, we just made cake pops or <laughs> whatever. And you're kind of like, I wish I had time to do that. Exhausted by the thought of doing another thing. Um, do you remember writing, painting, playing music, creating in your previous life before becoming a mom? Would you love to be creative, but your creativity is buried at the bottom of a sink of dirty dishes or lying under mounds of dirty laundry? You are not the only one, and you're in the right place. Newsflash, you are creative. If you're at this gathering today, you are creative. <laughs> You've figured out somehow to be here, and the prompt interested you, you're a creative person. So recognizing is a big part of the creative process. Recognize your creativity in ordinary ways. Maybe by you cook something new, or maybe how you do chores. Maybe you figured out a way to streamline the laundry to where it's uh, not as much work for each person. Or maybe you have a game that you play when you're um, cleaning the floors or something. I don't know. <laughs> People have these ways of being creative and you just don't recognize it always like if you thought of it at that moment oh that's that's me utilizing my creativity how you get on the same page with your kids when you have disagreements with the three or thirteen 
I love um, even Holly your story about the bubbles in the car you know like that's a very creative solution to have fun or to get over a hump right if somebody's not feeling um, you know like a very happy camper that can really turn it around I think we all probably have little tools like that so um, you know as, as someone who's in weather in the thick of things it can sometimes feel like oh I just don't even have time or energy to be creative well one part of you know enjoying that process of creativity is realizing the ways that you're already doing that we are creative beings <clears throat> so consider a couple of ways to be ready to receive the inspiration so this is thinking about those creative um, acts that we specifically think of um, as, as art or, or, or whether it's visual art or music or writing or even you know anything like that um, have a workshop a physical place, an intentional time slot or routine, even a file on your computer for ideas that occur to you. This would be a situation where, say, um, you used to write poetry or you used to paint things. Okay, when well, you think of an idea of a series um, of, of poetry, of short poems, or, you know, sketches that you could do about a certain topic. Okay, you'd, you don't have to do it at that moment, right? But if you have a place to put that idea, then, you know, down the road, maybe you have a nap time available to you. Maybe you have five minutes. Maybe somebody offered to take the kids or maybe they, you know, are watching a movie for the time being. This gives you 30 minutes or something. You know, this way you at least have something to work with when you have the time or mind space um, to be creative intentionally. Okay. Um, be prepared to invite the muse, whether it's through listening to music taking a hot bath, lighting a candle, whatever relaxes you and gives inspiration. And this doesn't have to take a long time. You know, honestly, I feel like sometimes um, we are primed because our days are so full um, and we're used to multitasking and thinking so much and we don't even realize, as, as parents, we don't realize how much we're thinking kind of every minute of the day, whether your child is, you know, two, three weeks old or 17 you know you're thinking you're 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 aware of them and you're making micro decisions about their environment and yours um, when you actually invite creativity sometimes it really bursts through and so sometimes a small invitation like that will really yield big results in terms of ideas maybe you have a journal and you set aside 20 minutes each morning just to write down what you're thinking it doesn't have to be 20 minutes it could be 10 um, I have a journal that I use and it's called morning pages I do them um, and I do not do them every morning it, it's it could be anywhere from three to six days a week you know um, that I may or may not do them some weeks go by and I don't have time because it's Christmas vacation or something like this um, but I find it really useful just to get the thoughts out of my head onto a page and this isn't for creative work by the way it can be it can go into that but really it's making space in your head so that you can get out all those logistical things um, and I know if this is making sense to anyone but when you feel like okay if I could just go through and say okay this is what I've got to get done today then that frees you up right so where you can let other thoughts and and different energy flow okay um, so don't worry about it's being read by anyone else that's very very important about this um, journal of, or morning pages or whatever understand that the muse can be but actually you know what how do I go back I don't even know how to go back let me see if I can let me get up here what I wanted to tell you um, right here is that there's a little camera up in the top right and that's because if you want to take a screenshot this might be a good <clears throat> time to do that so you have a couple of notes from this if you want to revisit them later I'm gonna wait a second for people to do that if they want to okay now then understand that the muse can be fickle Many of us are familiar with the mechanisms of breastfeeding. This is related. Many of us, um, you're going to keep it flowing, okay, with creativity. You'll find that avoiding expression can be very painful. And the more you give, the more you make. Sometimes the energy that you put in, it, it expands, it multiplies, okay, in a way that you can't really understand. You can't describe it about 
breastfeeding, why is it that the more that you nurse, the more milk you make? I don't know. I can't tell you. Um, with exercise, sometimes it's that way. If you, if you actually take the energy to put on your shoes and get out the door, going on a walk is a lot easier and actually tends to bring energy as opposed to take it. Um, it's the same way with creative impulses. Okay. I'm gonna... Hey, Keely, I'm going to just take a moment because for some reason our meeting thinks it's going to end in two minutes and 34 seconds. I'm <clears> and I'm not exactly sure why. I've never had that happen on this account before. <laughs> I'm but just in thing. case, in case that happens, for those of us in the Zoom meeting, I've gone, I've gone ahead and put another link in there. If you want to go ahead and go click on that, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I'm not sure. You how put to it in the chat box? I put it in the chat box. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's in the chat. <clears throat> and I'll put it on Facebook Live as well for anyone who wants to join us. But um, yeah, very odd. This is the first time me, this has happened to us. <laughs> here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, um, let me click on that. I wonder if we should just click off of this one and click on that one. Because once we lose this, you're going to lose your link for yep. the. Yeah, let's stop. Right. I'll stop the share and we'll yeah. click. Everybody click on this one.